Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to another installment of the Fry Museum's virtual Alzheimer's Cafe. When the museum is open, this is something that we do on the second Tuesday of every month. It's open to the whole community, and we start out in the galleries, and we have a discussion about some of the art that's on display. And then uh, we all go into the museum cafe. We have some snacks, have a little time to visit, and then we have a sing-along. My name is Carmen Ficarra, and I'm one of the teaching artists at the museum, and I also get to lead that sing-along once in a while. That's what we're going to get to do today. Um, I like old songs, so today I picked three old love songs, and by old I mean pretty old. Some of these are over a century old. And uh, we're going to have words that you can follow along, so I hope you sing with me. And um, I have a little background about some of the songs too, so maybe you can learn some things about them that you didn't know before. So enjoy yourself, sing along, and let's have some fun. You probably recognize this first song. It's uh, called Daisy Bell. Um, you might know it as A Bicycle Built for Two. And it was written in 1892 by a British songwriter named Harry Decker. And a legend has it that uh, the daisy refers to a woman named Daisy Greville, who was a, uh, one of the mistresses of King Edward VII. Um, as far as the title goes, turns out that uh, when Decker came over to the United States, he brought his bicycle, as a lot of people did. Bicycles were really fashionable back then. And uh, because everybody had their bikes, it took a long, long time for everyone to disembark that ship. And he got off the boat and he told his friend this, and his friend quipped, oh, it's a good thing he didn't have a bicycle built for two. It would have taken twice as long. Um, I don't know if that story is true, but I really like it. Um, this song also has the distinction of being the first song that was ever taught to a computer. They taught a computer to sing this song in 1961. And if you've ever seen the film 2001, A Space Odyssey, the computer in that movie also sings this song. So, uh, like I said, the words are going to be on the bottom of the screen. Please follow along. And, oh yeah, in my research, I found that this song had some verses that I'd never heard before. So, uh, I learned a little something, and maybe you'll hear some things here for the first time as well. There is a flower within my heart Daisy, Daisy Planted one day by a glancing dart Planted by Daisy Bell Whether she loves me or not Sometimes it's hard to tell Yet I am longing to share the lot of Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. We will go tandem as man and wife. Daisy, Daisy, pedaling away down the road of life. I and my Daisy Bell. When the road's dark, we can do without policemen and lamps as well. There are bright lights in the dazzling eyes, a beautiful Daisy Bell. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. for the love of you it won't be a stylish marriage i can't afford a carriage but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two I will stand by you in weal or woe Daisy, Daisy 
You'll be the bell which you'll ring, I know, sweet little Daisy Bell. You'll take the lead in each trip we take, and then if I don't do well, I will permit you to use the brake, my beautiful Daisy Bell. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. So this next song is uh, By the Light of the Silvery Moon. It was written in 1909, and it uh, made its debut in the Ziegfeld Follies of 1909 on Broadway. And it turns out there was a big fashion for writing songs about the moon, or at least with moon in the title. Uh, in that same era, you had Shine on Harvest Moon, On Moonlight Bay, There's No Moon Like the Honeymoon. And then there was a whole series of, of uh songs that had the moon attached to the name of uh, one of the United States. There was Alabama moon, Georgia moon, Virginia moon, Carolina moon. Um, I write some songs myself once in a while, and I've actually put the moon in a few of my songs too, so I guess it's just one of those things that songwriters do. Of the silvery moon, I want to spoon with my honey. I'll croon love's tune, honeymoon. Keep shining in June. Your silver beams will bring love's dreams. We'll be cuddling soon by the silvery moon. silvery moon I want to spoon with my honey I'll croon love's tune honeymoon keep it shining in June your silver beams will bring love's dreams we'll be cuddling soon by the silvery moon your silver beams will bring love's dreams we'll be marrying soon by the silvery moon so we're going to wrap up with another song that uh, will be familiar to you as well i'm sure it's uh, for me and my gal it was written in 1917 and it was a big hit back then and then in 1942, they made a movie musical uh, called For Me and My Gal, and it featured this song and uh, became a big hit again. Um, that movie starred Judy Garland and Gene Kelly. They actually made three movies together, and this was the first one. And it's set during World War I, so it has some great songs from that era. It has this, it has After You've Gone, it has uh, Oh You Beautiful Doll, and it's also got some war songs from that era. It's a long way to Tipperary, pack up your old kit bag when Johnny comes marching home. Um, it's a great, great movie, really entertaining, lots of fun, lots of good music. I uh, highly recommend that you watch it. And I also want to thank you for watching this. I know we're spending a lot of time on our screens these days, so we really do appreciate you spending some of that time with us. Thanks a lot. See you soon. The bells are ringing 
for me and my gal. Birds are singing for me and my gal. Everybody's been knowing to a wedding they're going. And for weeks they've been sewing every Susie and Sal. They're congregating for me and my gal. Parsons waiting for me and my gal. Well, someday I'm gonna build myself a little love nest for two or three or four or more out in love land for me and my gal. The bells are ringing for me and my gal. The birds are singing for me and my gal. Everybody's been knowing to a wedding they're going. And for weeks they've been sewing every Susie and Sal. They're congregating for me and my gal. Parsons waiting for me and my gal. Someday I'm gonna build myself a little love nest for two or three or four or more out in love land for me and my gal. Someday I'm gonna build myself a little love nest for two or three or four or more out in love land for me and my gal.